Azrock is in the news again, sort of contesting with Intel, which is always an interesting thing to watch since they're basically partners to make these motherboards. But Azrock has a history with Intel now. Their Sky OC for overclocking the non-K CPUs from Intel was a pretty cool thing, and Intel cracked down on it and basically said, uh, no, you can't do that. So Azrock has put out a firmware patch that basically reverses it, but you can still get the Sky OC thing if you wanted to overclock your 6500 non-K or something like that. Now, there is some news for Broadwell E. So Broadwell E is replacing Haswell E, that is the next Extreme Series Intel chip. It will be on the successor to the X99 platform, whatever's championing that, but there's a patch. So ASRock has put out a patch for their X99 motherboards that will, theoretically anyway, update them to support the Broadwell E CPUs. Pretty interesting stuff, and that works because Broadwell E, based on this news, will be still running LGA 2011V something maybe V4, it's on V3 right now. And 2011, if it's got the same pin count, but it's maybe enabling or disabling some pins, that actually makes sense that a firmware patch could sort of hack it to work because with these sockets, AMD and Intel alike, there are pins that are actually unused. And in theory, and this is what Intel is doing, I think, in theory, the next architecture could say, you know, let's change some of the way these pins work, so let's draw from this one instead or whatever. So that is something that could actually work out. And you can download the patch now. It doesn't really do a whole lot for you until Broadwell E comes out, certainly this year, especially now that we've seen this news from ASRock. So you can grab that. The patch will work only on X99 boards from ASRock. It doesn't work on any other boards, of course. Socket type's different. Other manufacturers will keep an eye on, but I haven't seen anything from Asus, MSI, Gigabyte, or anyone like that. And I don't know that they'd be too vocal about it since they historically have not been as sort of uh, as contentious with Intel as ASRock has been. Definitely makes them an interesting company to watch. So that is the news. In terms of Broadwell E itself, I'll just recap this quickly for you. The i7-6950X, that is the Extreme Series Broadwell E processor, that will have 10 cores and 20 threads, according directly to ASRock. And then other specs, it will be 25 megabytes cache, the 6900K, eight cores, 16 threads, so both of these are hyper-threaded, 20 megabyte cache on that one, the 6850K and the 6800K alike will be six cores, 12 threads, hyper-threaded again, and both of those have 15 megabytes of cache, they'll likely just have a different clock rate, but we don't have final numbers on that yet. So that's all the info for Broadwell E that's available right now, and for the patching of the motherboards. If you like this type of coverage, as always, a link in the description below for more information. You hit the Patreon link, the post all video helps out directly. Thank you for watching. I'll see you all next time.